All right, so this is going to be part two of one of my previous videos named Are Reptilians Real? <clears throat> now, unlike other videos, I'm not going to necessarily show uh, videos of people shape shifting or anything like that. But I believe that Hollywood tries to show us the truth by making characters and different creatures that uh, depict reptilians right in front of us. So for this first picture, um, this is a gremlin. Uh, looks just like a reptilian. The sharp teeth, the eyes, you know, obvious, obvious message here. This next one is uh, a clip from uh, From Dust to Dawn. I think this is an old movie that came back in 95, I believe it was 1995 or 96. Uh, this movie was made by Quentin Tarantino and it was starring George Clooney. That was a part of the movie where they went to a club I believe it was in Mexico and there were strippers and the strippers actually turned into vampires. But you notice these vampires have a reptilian like look to them. This is a closer look at uh, one of the, the creatures has scales like a snake, you know, very reptile like has the fangs. This is it, the clown. Uh, as you can see his hands, he has a reptile like hands. Once again, gives you that idea of that reptilian, reptile creature like thing going on here. This is the Wishmaster. I think this also came out in like 1990. And uh he's he's a creature that actually grants you wishes. But uh he kills you in the process. But once again has a reptile like look to him. This comes from uh, an old sitcom from the 80s called V, the letter V. Uh, they actually made a new series. I think it was like 2010 when they actually did a remake of the series. But once again, she's a reptile under the human skin. This is another picture from the same show. V has reptile like eyes. Um, actually, um, they got into a fight with this guy and he pulled off his skin and he has a, like a reptile like look to him underneath the skin. There's a reptilian under the skin. This is from Conan, which, uh, stars Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, there was a scene when the king, he turned into a snake. So I guess this is like a message like the reptiles or the reptilians are the rulers of our kingdoms. At first, I didn't want to put this, but then after I was looking a little, you know, I took a harder look at the Green Ranger and I noticed that he's more, he seems to be more like a reptile, reptilian-like creature too, especially when you look at the helmet. Around the helmet, he has the teeth, the eyes. Uh, if you look at his chest, you look at the star on his chest, those symbols on his chest and he was one of the more powerful rangers and uh this also gave me like an idea of like a reptilian like power or reptilian creature this is Darth Maul now he doesn't look very reptilian but the thing that made me think that he was a reptilian is this next picture this is Martian Manhunter now, if you look very closely, you know, obviously he has that reptilian, reptilian scales type thing going on. But if you look at the top of his head, he has the horns that are similar to the horns that you saw on Darth Maul, which gave me the idea that Darth Maul was actually supposed to be like a reptilian as well. So this is Man Martian Manhunter. Um, I think Martian Manhunter, he also has the weaknesses that is supposedly the same weaknesses that reptilians have which is fire and um so yeah 
I think in Hollywood, they put the truth in front of our faces, but a lot of people, they don't necessarily um, pick it up or, or, you know, some people, they just not educated. So, yeah, this is just a little video I want to make a part two of Are Reptilians Real?